This is Dan McDonald for GoUSIEagles.com. Joining me today is the head women's basketball coach at USI, Rick Stein. And, Coach, uh, glad to be back after a really tough 10-day stretch. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, probably the toughest stretch uh, you know, you'll ever see. You know, five games, 10 days. Uh, you know, we, and we got to see all the best teams in East and West. You know, top three in the East, uh, top two in the West, and, and really probably, you know, five of the top 30 teams in the country. Um, great, great basketball teams. Um, you know, we, we, we played really well at times and not so well at times. Uh, put ourselves in position to, to get a couple of them and, and just didn't make enough plays. You know, couldn't top it off and, and fi you, know, finish, you know, finish off some plays that, that, that could have got us a couple W's there. Um, learning process, so, you know, we're, we're moving forward. Uh, there's no rest for the weary. You know, you turn around, you got Indian St. Joe coming in this week, two very good teams, and, and uh, we got to find a win somewhere. And talk about Indianapolis and, and St. Joseph's, two very uh, talented teams. Just talk about what you're going to see out of those teams this weekend. You know, and that's, you know, what you just said is so true. You know, two really talented teams. They're not in the top, you know, a couple in the East or West, but, but, but they're, they're only a few points away. And that's the thing about this league, and I've told our team is, you know, the difference between the third-place team and the sixth-place team is, is only a couple points. You know, I mean, there's a very fine line between being six and three or three and six. Uh, and it's generally not talent. Uh, two talented clubs, Indianapolis, very talented. Uh, Princess Germans coming in. Uh, I mean, you could go down their list. I can go down their roster. Very good players. Um, they haven't found some of those Ws uh, and hadn't topped off a few like, just like we haven't. Um, it's an experienced club here coming in, and, and they know how to play in January and February. We're going to have to be ready on Thursday. On Saturday, you face St. Joseph's a special promotion, the uh, Hoops for Troops uh, Military Appreciation Day. Uh, just talk about what that means for the, the program uh, to be able to do something like that. Well, you know, obviously, you know, it's it, for, for – you know, in the big picture, it doesn't seem like much, but you know, you try to do anything and everything you you know can for for that crew. Uh, you know, all the things that uh, that that um, that you know our military does day, day in and day out, and and uh, each and every one of those you know individuals do for for us and our country. You know, to 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 to, to you know put something out there for them to to hopefully get them in the gym. You know, for for some entertainment, for a good some good basketball, uh, for a double header. You know, hopefully that uh, you know comes into play. Uh, you know, St. Joe's going to be a, a a, a tough one on Saturday. They're 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 better than they've been probably in the last you know five six seven years. Very talented, well coached. Um, you know, I'm expecting a great game on Saturday, and hopefully we get a lot of people out. All right, Coach. USI takes on Indianapolis. It's a 5:15 start here at the Pack on Thursday, and then the Eagles finish the weekend off at, against St. Joseph's. It's a one o'clock start here at the Pack on Saturday. For more on USI and USI women's basketball, go to GoUSIEagles.com.